Hey guys, so a little while ago I made a video, um, an after storm video driving the truck and I showed you what was left of a road next to a beach, um, you know, a day after a windstorm. We have another big storm here going on today, um, as it happens in Nova Scotia. I'm at the same beach and the waves are crazy out there, so I figured I would come down and make a quick video. You won't be able to hear shit when I go out there, so I'll talk to you now. But anyway, let's put our hood up here. See how long it actually stays up for. But uh, let's head out. Check it out. purpose of this video was was for uh, just to make a better video with the automatic wipers because the last time it was raining so hard that it didn't really make a difference like it was gonna they were gonna go in high speed no matter what but it's so it's sort of this video is gonna be a combination of driving the 250 in a windstorm we're getting like 90 km hour winds here today. And you know, also the wipers. So like right now, they're on the second setting and they're doing exactly what I want them to do. There's a few people that, that commented and they said that they don't really like how theirs, how theirs works. Um, a bunch of trees on the lines there. 
they don't really like how how their wipers work. They find it's either too fast, too slow, and just, just it's not adequate. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work good enough. Um, yeah, there's there's definitely times where where mine does that too. But if you do adjust, even though it's automatic, if you do adjust your your wiper speed on the left hand side. It actually it, it it changes sort of the sensitivity of, of what the of what the wind of what the wipers will cut in and cut out at. So the higher you put it, you know, the more sensitive it's going to be, and it will actually speed up the wipers as well, like I just did right now. It's trying to keep up with the moisture level that you're sort of picking. If you turn it down, then it goes slower. Like right now, it's on the slowest setting. And it's not doing what it should. But after a little while, like it sort of you know, it must sort of reprogram itself and then it, it, it will keep up. It will end up eventually going up to a higher speed. Um, so, I mean, it, to me, it works pretty good. Just driving. Like I, I said before, using it with uh, snow plowing, it, it can kind of be a pain in the ass. It doesn't really seem to do what it wants to, you know, it doesn't do what I need it to do, I guess. But, um, you know, so that's that. I, I really like them. They don't work perfect, but they work pretty good. I get by with it. Um, you know, I've driven this truck in, we've had quite a few windstorms down here, down here in Nova Scotia in the last, last couple months. And I've driven the truck in, in every one. And you know, a lot of trucks, you know that are high up they catch a lot of wind so they can blow you all over to damn place I find this truck's planted pretty good um, better than my other my other trucks the 350 is good that thing's a tank um, but my 150 was really bad that caught a lot of wind that blew me all over the place um, my Tundra it's not the crew cab it's the it's a double cab, so it's a bit of a smaller truck, but but I have a lift on it. Well, three and two leveling kit. And that catches a fair amount of wind, but that's planted pretty good too, but not as good as this. This truck I find, you know, I'm still still very confident of where it's what it's gonna do and it can it can be pretty windy and this this truck just stays planted in the road. Right there. It just transitioned from a slower speed to a higher speed because the rain picked up. So yeah, I mean, it, it works good. To me, it works good. Nothing automatic is ever going to be perfect. You know, the high beams are pretty good, low beam auto dimmers. But if you're coming around a sharp turn, and the sensor doesn't catch the vehicle's lights coming at you, then it doesn't flick down and it can end up, you know, pissing the person off in front of you that you're meeting. But, but the high beam, low beam works pretty good too. I'm thinking about a place in uh, North America to, to come check out some beautiful scenery, beautiful beaches. I can't swim in the ocean too much anymore because I find it really cold. I spoil myself by going down south a few times. We have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beaches here in Nova Scotia, but the Atlantic Ocean in this area is pretty damn cold. But, uh, you know, Nova Scotia, Cape Breton, PEI, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous places. If you're from somewhere else in the world, somewhere down the States, even somewhere else in Canada, you want to take a road trip, you know, come on down, we're great people. Come visit us. But anyway guys, that's it. Just a quick little video. Show you what it's like in the truck, driving in a windstorm, automatic wipers, and the power of the ocean down here. All right guys, see you soon. Like, subscribe. Later.